Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Amber and this is a channel all about plus size fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Today we have a haul from Torrid. But first, I have a little surprise for you. So the company Teddy Blake New York reached out to me. If you're not familiar with them, they are a luxury handbag company and they have all like Italian designers designing their products are located in New York, but all of their craftsmanship design materials, the leather come from Italy. So they really focus on getting luxury in the hands of the masses for less because they're not putting designer names on it. So you can really get these luxury products for a fraction of the cost. They use premium Italian leather. They have designers who've been plucked from the higher end design brands. And then also their craftsmanship have been working in this industry for so long, know the techniques, know how to utilize, treat, construct the leather to perfection. So when they reached out asking if I would want to pick a bag from their catalog of many, my first question, or my first thought was, absolutely, <laughs> let's try it out. My second thought was, how am I gonna pick one? <laughs> so their website, really beautiful, lots of enticing designs and colors, and like so many options, different, different sizes and shapes. The Libra in me chose two that I liked the most. One was more functional, one was more fashion, and I really had to ask their team like, hey, putting it in your hands <laughs> pick the one for me <laughs> so today i'm going to do an unboxing i'm going to show you what i got and kind of tell you the features and my thoughts about it so let's open it up okay so it arrived in like a regular brown box but inside was this like super heavy duty cardboard box super luxury it says teddy blake new york on the front it's huge you see how big this is <laughs> It's such good quality. And then there's like contrast black on the sides, really pretty. And then you open it and you even have this like little mission statement on the inside that says, Teddy Blake, New York, designer handbags made in Italy, luxury leather. Each Teddy Blake handbag has been made with you in mind to be an extension of your unique style and flatter your every fashion choice. And then inside, here it is. So really beautiful dust bag that says Teddy Blake New York on it. And I can like smell the leather already. Ugh. And here she is, what a gem. So this is the Bella Croco 15 inch. She is brown leather that has this little croc pattern on it. So pretty. It's got the Teddy Blake logo on the front in gold. And then it's got these little handles here, but then also an adjustable strap. So if you want to wear it like this, or you could maybe even crossbody it. Um, not sure if I could, it might be like too short for me, but really pretty. And then all of the gold hardware, the little, um, zipper pulls, just a lot of thoughtful detail. And then inside, like I love a big bag because I want to throw like a book and a water bottle and like literally all my things. This has so much space. And then there are snaps on the sides here. So you can just fit like literally everything you need to in your life. There are also zippers on both sides for extra storage and organization. So you can see that there. And it just smells so good. <laughs> this is really beautiful. You can tell that there's a lot of quality here. And yeah, the feel of the leather is really nice. I think this is really great. I'm excited to like try it out, see how it wears. Um, but first thoughts are that it looks great. And like this is how it looks with like my little outfit. So cute. And if that's not enough, Teddy Blake is giving a discount code. So check in my bio for the discount code if you wanna try them out. Like I said, they've got so many fun styles from really tiny ones to big ones like this. So um, definitely check them out and let me know if you get one of your own. 
And with that being said, without further ado, let's get into the haul. As a reminder, here are my measurements. I am 5'6", I wear about a size 22, and I'm straight from the front, but curvy from the side. So a curvy rectangle. So first up, this is a little sweater knit turtleneck with an elbow sleeve. I'm wearing a size two and it's in this like oatmeal cream color. So really beautiful sweater. It is very soft, almost like a cashmere. I love the sleeve length. Um, sometimes when they're a little bit shorter, they just show off maybe not the best part of my arm. <laughs> And then turtlenecks and I usually don't love each other because I just don't have a lot of like neck length. Um, but this one is so soft, you can like kind of fold it down more if you want. So it doesn't really bother me too much at all. Um, the color is so beautiful. It's like the perfect kind of cream oatmeal tone. And then the length itself is actually really long, like really long. Um, so I'm preferring, you know, kind of zhuzhing it up a little bit. I could definitely tuck this into things, just not these pants, and I'll, I'll tell you why um, in a little bit. But if I had other trousers or jeans or a skirt, I would definitely tuck it in, most likely. But really beautiful, otherwise just soft. And like I said, this is a two, and I feel like I usually wear a three at Torrid. So very stretchy and um, super comfortable. And then these pants are the Studio Collection Crepe Pull-On Pant. I'm wearing a size three here. If you guys heard that, that was Nova just darting across the room. <laughs> She's got the zoomies. <laughs> um, but so anyways, these are in a like tannish cream color as well. Hence my little monochrome outfit I got going on. And they are pull-on. They are actually a really nice weight fabric and they do have some stretch. With that being said, and it might be driven by the color, they don't hide a lot. Um, I did put these on without shapewear and I felt quite exposed to just lumps, bumps, all that stuff. Um, and then I put my shapewear on and I definitely feel better. I think if I maybe would have gotten black or another dark color, I wouldn't mind at all um, but just knowing the cream is lighter weight or lighter color it did show more um i will also say so these are regular length they are a bit long on me i might try the short length for myself um and then there's something about the pockets which when you do these trouser shaped pockets a lot of times they might gape um, I am finding that they are gaping, but beyond that, it feels like these pocket bags are a little bulky too. I think they use the same fabric as the, um, like the regular pant, but they're kind of bunching funny. So I almost wish they would have used like a nude mesh color or something. Um, so they would be maybe a little bit lighter weight and not as bulky. The other thing is, so this does have like a thick elastic on the inside, which gives it this clean Hollywood waistband. Hollywood waistband, for those who don't know, is when there's like no actual separate waistband. It just kind of creates a clean line up to the top. And I love that they have the elastic here. I almost wish they would have like extended the self fabric over the top of the elastic so like the elastic wouldn't curl over and be shown especially because it is contrast um but beyond that really great pants and really comfortable like <laughs> you can do all the things you can squat enough you know you can yeah literally super comfortable because they are stretchy just a couple things that would make them like perfect pants in my opinion so these are the same pants. I am wearing about a two inch heel with them now and a boot and they definitely are a better length for me, but still would need to go a little bit shorter. So I might be in between lengths and I might just have to go get them hemmed, but definitely worth trying that short length before deciding. This top is a satin button down shirt. I'm wearing a size three X and it is in the color brown and I will untuck it for you.
So really beautiful satin drapey quality. It does get a little bit staticky, but hence poly. I actually really like this color too, this brown. I wasn't sure how I'd like it, but it is really pretty. Um, I'm actually surprised. I thought that Torrid did like the no gap buttons, but this doesn't seem to have that. And then the overall fit is good. I will say that I do run into this usually being tight on me across the board with button down shirts. I didn't size up in this one because I didn't want it to be too loose up here. And I do feel like the top portion fits me really well. So I would likely just tuck it in if I were to wear it. Um, and probably wear it with like trousers or a skirt. But yeah, otherwise really great quality, good length. And I think they have a few different colors, actually maybe more than a few. <laughs> so if you're not feeling the brown, you can definitely get other options. But this is a really good like dress up, dress down type of thing too, because you could easily wear it with jeans. You know, you don't have to wear it dressed up. So love the versatility within that. Next up, I have this cardigan. It is a little, what's it? Eyelet crochet um, button front cardigan. I'm wearing a size two and it is in the color green. So this is really pretty. Um, I love the color. It's kind of like this like tealish green almost. Eh, I mean, it definitely is like a, a foresty green, but it still feels like it has slightly blue cast to it. And then if you can see on the body, there's like this open crochet work to it, which is really pretty. It hits low hip, so definitely a good kind of cozy length. And I did size down here because I didn't want it to be like too oversized, um, but definitely really soft, easy, and then the color's really pretty. And then underneath, so these trousers are a high rise wide leg satin pleat front trouser. They are pull on, um, I'm wearing a size three, and they're in this like bronze color. So these are actually beautiful. Um, the color is much nicer than they looked online. They looked a little like orangey online as opposed to bronze. And then the, the quality, like the fabric is really kind of like a good heavyweight for a bottom. I don't feel like they're gonna like stick to me or anything. The only thing is they do feel a little bit big in the waist, but I am wearing my uh, like slinky Spanx underneath it. So if I got rid of those, maybe it would grip to the waist a little bit better. And then the length, once again, just a little bit long for me. But otherwise I love that they have pockets. I like the wide cuff. There's a little like pin tuck detail on the side. No pockets in the back, um, but then you have that elastic, which makes it easy. Yeah, these are actually just like really luxe feeling kind of easy pants that you can dress up or dress down or even wear like as pajamas at home. Like it's a vibe for sure. And then this is their swing cami. This is a size three and it is in this um, satin and it's an ivory color. So this is definitely running big. Um, I could size down at least one, maybe two. The fabric also is a little bit lighter weight than I would have thought it would be. So we have one at um, Target Avon Viv and our quality is a denser, heavier quality. This one's definitely lighter weight. So I guess depending on what your preference is, like you might like this, like if you live in a warmer climate, maybe you do want it lighter weight. Um, with that being said, I would say definitely try sizing down because there just is a lot to it. And I also feel like I'm just, it's like falling down kind of everywhere. Um, but otherwise really beautiful idea. And once again, really versatile. You can wear this with skirts, jeans, trousers, kind of like the whole, the whole run of things. So really a nice basic to have in your closet. So this next look, First of all, let me say, I kind of love it. Like this whole kind of preppy collegiate vibe is totally 
something I've just loved always. I did a senior collection at my fashion school that was like inspired by Gossip Girl with plaid and denim and like creamy knit turtlenecks and stuff and like bows in the back and little hats and like all that fun stuff and so <laughs> now that it's kind of coming back I am here for it. I love it. So this look is this little plaid corduroy mini skirt and I am wearing a size 3 and it is in this tan and black plaid. So this is really cute. Um, there, It is a pull on so it is stretchy at the waist and then the actual fabric itself is a stretch corduroy. It is a fine whale which means like the corduroy kind of the rib spacing on it is narrow as opposed to like maybe a wider one. So this one is a finer whale and yeah it feels nice. The length of the skirt is actually really good. Sometimes they can be a little short, so this one hits a little bit above the knee. And I do feel like I'm getting like good coverage in the back as well. I also like that it's got like a little bit of A-line, which helps it kind of stay in place on my body type. There are pockets here in the front and then non-functional buttons going down the front, which I also love so you don't have to worry about it pulling or gaping when you sit or move, that sort of thing. Overall, super comfortable, really cute. And then this top is a size three. It is a little Henley long sleeve <clears throat> and it's in a cream color. So I actually have a similar tank top version like this from um, Lane Bryant that I got this summer with like snaps. And it's cute, but it's like, I wish it had sleeves. So when I saw this, I was like, yep, I'm going to get that. So it's really cute as is, like it's a good length if you do want to wear it tucked out. I prefer it tucked in for this look. Um, and then it's like a rib fabric. So you do get a little bit of rib on the fabric, long sleeves. And the thing that's like, the most fun about this to me and a little sexy and a little cheeky is you can wear it like this all hook and eyed together or you can open a couple and have more of that like kind of 90s vibe to it with this little notch neck so i think that's really cute i also wasn't sure because i knew i wanted this to be more of a fitted um expression so i didn't know if torrid had already made it a slim fit or if I was gonna have to size down to a two, but I did end up going with a three and it does feel like they sized it appropriately. So it is a little bit closer to body. Keep that in mind if you do want something that's a little bit easier. Um, but if you're looking for that kind of slim fit for this style, your real size should be fine. Oh, and I forgot. So these little cuties that I'm wearing on my feet. So these are the only shoes that I bought for this haul from Torrid. Um, these are little Mary Jane ballet flats in a faux leather. They are so cute. I'm wearing a size nine. There is no heel. Really cute. Let me show them to you closer up. So ballet flats are coming back. Those who hate heels rejoice. Um, <laughs> but the Mary Jane, which is this little strap over the top too, is also making a reemergence. I feel like it's probably because of like the Wednesday Adam series like kind of goes with her vibe of like dark innocence so they do have these in black um and I think one other color that I'm not recalling right now but then also this like creamy tone which I was like oh these are so cute so the leather quality is really nice and then it is a little like squared off toe just really pretty and I actually besides like boots in the fall, I don't have any other cream shoes, so I love having an option that's still a closed toe, but still light enough for maybe some of those um, browns, creams, winter whites that I'll be wearing. Oh, <laughs> oh, and then how's the fit? Um, so these fit actually really good. These are a nine, the wide or double wide from Torrid. I will say maybe I could have gone a half size down. Um, I might have like extra in the toe, but you know what? I don't have any socks on with them when I was trying it on. So if I do decide to wear a little like 
ankle sock or something, it'll be good to have a little bit of extra room, but the actual width of it, everything else, really comfortable. And then these straps are adjustable, so you can make them wider or narrower if you choose. So next up, this is a velvet midi skirt and I'm wearing a 3X and is the color red. So, <laughs> does this scream Santa Claus, Mrs. Claus to anyone else? Like if you're looking for a Halloween or a Christmas costume, <laughs> this uh, might be perfect for it. I think it's a mixture of the velvet and the color of red that they used. Like if they used maybe more of a burgundy or something, maybe it would feel less Santa Claus. Uh, <laughs> but with that being said, really comfortable, really flattering fit. It's got a pull on waist with um, the elastic at the waistband, but it's like not a gathered, it's a flat elastic. And then it's got different gores and panels here to create this really nice little kind of semi-circular cut midi skirt. There are also pockets, which I know we always appreciate. And then just like clean, easy back. I don't know if, I'm not assuming they probably have other colors. I can't remember what they might've been, but the actual shape and fit of this is really nice. The quality is nice. I think it's just the color that's catching me up. Um, so I might go and check if there's another color because it is really pretty. And then this tank, this is a Ponte little like corset tank with a zipper. I'm wearing a size two and it is in the color black. So the quality on this is really nice, kind of a thicker heavyweight little Ponte. Length is good. Um, I did size down to a two, which I think is right. I maybe could have even sized down to a one if I wanted it a little bit more fitted, but not necessary, I guess. Um, and then it has this little zipper with ring detail here that is adjustable. You go up or down with it. And yeah, you can wear a regular bra because there's good strap coverage, good armhole coverage. Yeah. Great under a blazer or a cardigan or just worn by itself. And uh, yeah, pretty cute. So next up, this is a little like night on the town look right here. This is a faux leather metallic mini. I'm wearing a size three and it is in the color blue. So I'm not sure if you heard that while I was turning, but this skirt comes with its own set of sound effects which I don't love. Um, so the quality itself is really nice. They're stretch, it is soft, a really great quality. The only thing is the inside is noisy when you're walking. Like it rubs against your skin or it rubs against your shapewear and it makes like a soft little maraca sound, <laughs> which is so unfortunate. Because the style is actually really cute. Like it definitely leans into like this 80s kind of vibe, which is so fun. So it's a pull on, stretch, and then it's got these non-functional little zipper details. Oh wait, wait, they do open. Oh, and there are pockets. Okay, cool, that's exciting. <laughs> so functional little pockets here. And then um, the length is really good, hits at the knee, and it's more of a fitted little pencil skirt. Ultimately, super cute. And then this top, what did they call this? It was like a slimming top. Um, this is a size three and it's in the color black. So I think this is probably supposed to be like a seamless kind of skims dupe quality. It's definitely very like synthetic heavy feeling, um, feels like it would almost suck you in. Part of me, maybe, eh, I was gonna say what I sized down one to get more of like, cause they have foxies and I feel like their foxy kind of does that where it like compresses you and slims you. Um, so this is just like a different fabric that's more like slinky feeling, whereas a foxy is a cotton span. I do like the shaping and the detail, like the neck, the sleeve length, all of that, the fit, all is really good. I just don't know if the fabric is like my favorite. It's very synthetic feeling. 
Um, but that might just be personal. So yeah, beyond that, it fits well. I wouldn't say I'm like feeling snatched by it. So that's why I was like, I wonder if I would size down. Um, but beyond that, easy, comfortable, and obviously you can wear it with everything because it's just a black like top. So yeah. Next up is this satin midi dress with lace detail in the color black, and I'm wearing a size three. So the fabric is a uh, satin, but it's actually got this little jacquard of like a hound's tooth on it. I don't know if you can see that, um, but just a little pattern in the satin. And then it's got lace detailing at the neckline as well as under the bust here. There is elastic at the back waist, so you do get a little bit of stretch. And then the straps are adjustable. The It feels like the skirt is cut on the bias, which is giving a really nice shape and kind of a sort of like fluted hem, which is really pretty. And it does land mid shin. I think overall the body is pretty. Um, I just have like too much extra in the bust where it's kind of causing saggy boobs on the side here. I also don't know if I like the pattern on the fabric with the lace. Like I almost wish it was just satin with the lace detail, but definitely good for kind of like a special occasion dress. Um, or, I mean, you could even just like wear it to the office with like a blazer or a cardigan. It doesn't have to be a special occasion. It is really comfortable, I will say that. So maybe if you're shaped like me with just a little bit bigger bust, this would actually fit you really well. Next up, this is a ponty little trench coat. Actually, it's more of like a top coat, I'd say. Um, I'm wearing a size three and it is in the color black. So the fabric has some good stretch to it. It almost feels like a wool, but with stretch, which is nice. I think they might've called this their like lightweight top coat and really comfortable. It actually does feel like it's, it's warm. Um, and it's got a really beautiful shape where it kind of fit and flares. There are pockets here and then it is like a midi length. I think it's actually a really great coat. Um, especially like a transitional one. And I feel like it's really cute, even just like worn open with, let's say wide leg jeans and a tee. You wear like a baseball hat and sneakers with it. So it doesn't have to be dressed up. You can definitely like dress it down. Um, but yeah, I think it's like a great option that's like not too hot, but also comfortable because of the stretch. And then underneath, this is a velvet halter maxi dress. I am wearing a size three and it is in the color black. So this is really pretty. So you get this high neckline up here, this little like halter neckline. It does go through the back. So it's not like it's open in the back, like some halters are. And then you do get this like really pretty flattering cutaway neckline. There is a waistband here with some stretch in it. And then just this really pretty like ankle length, I guess I'd say more than a maxi. There are pockets and then the actual velvet is really nice and soft and it has some stretch. It's actually kind of heavy too. Like this dress in general is just weightier. Um, it feels like it's such a great special occasion type of dress, you know, whether you're going to like a fundraiser, a gala, a pageant, a wedding, something like that, this would be a really great dress to wear it to and then the velvet just makes it like more fall winter appropriate yeah ultimately I really like this I don't know if I have a place <laughs> where I'll need to wear it but it's definitely pretty before I go into the next one I just want to interject that I just received a package from Torrid with the rest of my things so <laughs> this is about four hours later um, so you'll see some of them spliced in but if you notice lighting or anything different than other <laughs> outfits in the video that's the reason why next up so this sweater is actually from arula um, i'll link my arula haul right up here um, but it's the skirt that is from torrid and this is a satin brown and white polka dot skirt and i'm wearing a size three 
So nice luxe satin fabric with some stretch to it. It's got a pull on waist with flat elastic at the front and then like actual elastic at the back. It's just like a easy kind of A-line shape and then it's got this little pitched uh, ruffle detail on the front. And then there are pockets. It's a midi length and it does go eh, just above the knee at the top of the ruffle. And then it's in this really pretty brown with I'd say it's probably a pretty clean white, but maybe it is a slight cream polka dot. Overall, I actually really like this. Um, when I ordered it, I wasn't sure, but trying it on now, and especially with the sweater that makes it feel less dressy, I like it a lot better. So I'll probably be keeping this one because I do feel like it's a cute, like fall, winter little skirt. So to finish out the video, I have a few really really cute lounge sleep pieces from Torrid so let's look at those so first up this little uh, bralette is actually not from Torrid it just kind of went with the, the little colors in here so I wore it with it but the actual pieces from Torrid are the pant and the cardigan the pant is from their sleep collection it is a three and the cardigan is a two um, and they're both in this kind of like oatmeal multicolor heather i'll do a little spin first so let me show you kind of the heather color it's really pretty it's like this almost like multi confetti cream very subtle but really pretty and really soft a little brush to the sweater. The cardigan has buttons all the way down. And then this little cable detail at the neckline as well as little pockets here. It is a longer length. And this is easy enough that you could wear it literally anywhere. I honestly don't think I would sleep in it. It would be more of like a robe alternative to me. And then I actually don't know if they had a match back top for this either, which would have been good to have so I'll have to check into that and then these pants are a sweater kind of wide leg they are high rise they have elastic and a drawstring and then just a really easy fit I feel like the length on these are actually perfect like I wish all of their pants were this length oh and they actually have that little cable detail running down the side too which I didn't notice so that's a cute little tie back for the set. Up next, this is from their Sleep and Lounge. This is a cropped wide leg jumpsuit. I'm wearing a size three and it is in this heathered gray sweater knit. So just like the burgundy one, it has this little flex of sparkle in here. Not sure if that'll show up for you, but little gold flex, super soft sweater fabric. And then it is Definitely a cropped wide leg. I actually love the length and the leg opening. There are pockets here. And then a little bit of elastic in the waist, but it is more of a flat elastic. So I do find myself wishing I had a little bit of like gathers below the, the waistline. Um, it kind of does look just like a little bit plain, which maybe is okay. I don't know. The straps are adjustable. And then it does have um, another one of those like cocoon cardigans in this gray metallic that I could have bought. I didn't. I just chose the um, the burgundy one, but that I think would be really cute over this as well, especially because it's pretty bare. But yeah, overall, just like easy, fun, comfortable <laughs> little onesie for uh, your fall and winter nights. Next up, these are the perfect Christmas morning pajamas. I'm so obsessed. These are so cute. So this little hoodie is in this rib quality. It is a size three and it's in the color red. So this is what I was actually waiting for the whole package for is because I like needed to create this pajama set. Um, <laughs> so the hoodie is like I said in this like heavy duty rib quality. It's got like this velvet touch to it. Um, so a little bit softer. I don't know if it actually shows anything different, but 
I think it actually might just be a velvet, honestly, of like a rib velvet. And I would say for 3X, I, honestly, I'd say for everything on this like whole pajama set, it runs a little bit smaller than I would have thought. I do feel like their sizing has kind of been all over the place this haul too. So that's interesting. Um, I usually don't run into that with Torrid. So definitely a little different. I've got a few things that I'm gonna like return or exchange for different sizes and I usually don't have to do that either. So just know that. Um, but this is, like I said, a size three, a little bit more of a slim fit. You've got the little kangaroo pocket here as well as a hood. Super cute. And then underneath is the pajama set and they are sold separately. So first this little cropped tank here, this is a size three. And then these pants are also a size three. They are in this really cute red and kind of oatmeal color stripe. And the fact that it like matches my skin tone perfectly is a little wild. Um, especially like I'm tanner up here than I am on my torso and it's like a perfect match. <laughs> my skin tone is oatmeal. <laughs> so anyways, um, for a size three, this is fitting, I'd say smaller um, for sure. But I think I would keep it because usually my bust is a little bit smaller than a three. But the bottoms though, these kind of fit like long johns. So very fitted and I thought it would be more of like a relaxed, easy type of fit. So I might try to size up once or twice to get a little bit more relaxed of a fit for the pant and then keep this top, you know, close to body. I just feel like it's going to be more comfortable that way. Um, yeah, otherwise I guess like the fit is fine. I love all the details, like the little contrast trim on the pocket. I love the satin tie at the waist. And I think the straps are adjustable on this little top. It's just really cute. It also comes in like a charcoal heather gray and white stripe, I believe. But definitely a fun little Christmas. Yeah, I'd say Christmas. I was going to say Valentine's Day, maybe. But I just love these. They're a cute little set for sure. Next up is another lounge pajama set. The first item is this cocoon sweater. I'm wearing a size three and it's in this like mm, burgundy wine plummy color. So I love this whole set in general. They are all sold separately. It is not together as one set. So you really can size up or down where needed to customize. I would almost size up in this because all you want to do is like wrap it, but I feel like because of the cocoon shape, like it doesn't have a lot of like wrap like that. Um, the fabric is a sweater knit. The thing that's really cool about this fabric is it's got this little like gold flex in it. So like a little metallic, which is so pretty. Long sleeves here, uh, no pockets on the cardigan, which would have been a nice little addition. And then underneath, so the sweater pants, these are size three, same burgundy wine color, same metallic little detail. This has a ribbon uh, for the drawstring instead of a self fabric of the other one. And these also fit really comfortable, really easy. The fabric is soft. And then this tank, so this is like a little cut in neckline swing tank. This is a three. And I'll do a little spin for you in this also. I will say overall it fits pretty well. The armhole is just like kind of deep and long. So I wish there was a little bit more coverage there. But with that being said, sleeping in it. So not that big of a deal, I think. <laughs> I just don't want to wake up with like it skewed over and you know, things popping out. Um, so I might decide to try the two and see if that's better, but otherwise, really great set that you feel like you could wear around family or visitors or guests um, for like holiday travel because you feel like put together and cute but you're also like super comfortable so i actually am 
quite a fan. All right, guys, that wraps up our Torrid haul. A lot of really cute little finds in there. I'm curious, which ones are your favorites? Which ones do you think I should keep? Which ones should I return? Also, a special thanks to Teddy Blake for reaching out to me and letting me try one of their bags. Um, once again, if you guys want to check them out, which I do recommend, feel free to use the link below to check out all the cute styles they have and then also that little promo code to help you save even more. And as always, thank you guys for stopping by and letting me play dress up. And please comment, like, subscribe, share, and come back for more. See you next time.